So, you actually have experience getting people to believe what you want them to Objection. believe. Objection. Withdrawn. Withdrawn. So, was this con a solo act? No, Greenlee was with me. Oh. Um, would you share with us just the, the highlights of that, Mr. Lavering? Sure. Um, Greenlee and I were traveling, and we ended up at a very nice hotel. Ryan, a hundred bucks won't cover a broom closet in this hotel. Oh, Greenlee, we're going to have a two-bedroom suite deluxe, and we're not going to pay a penny for it. We're going to run a con? I require a two-bedroom suite deluxe with a view of the park. Yes, sir. Do you know who my boss is? Mr. Smith. Tony the Traveler. Did you see us? We were so on fire. You know what? Total rush. Down, girl. You gotta get yourself all hooked. She so con worked. Were you aware that the manager was fired because of this con? Relevance? Well, the relevance is gonna become clear very soon, Your Honor. I'll allow it. Mr. Lavery. No, I was not aware that the manager lost his job. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. Would you please do me a favor and read this letter? You want, you want me to read this letter? Yes, I do. And if you know that it is um, on the hotel stationery. Um, this is to inform you of your immediate termination. The paycheck you received today will be your last. As of now, management is terminating your benefit package. No legal action will be taken against you if you leave without incident. Wow. It's pretty harsh. Hmm. Apparently, they thought that the uh, manager was in on the con. He wasn't. Yeah. Would you please peel away that tape there and read out loud the name of the manager in question? Nick Pearson. Nick Pearson. That was the witness that was up here earlier. The witness that made you look really bad. I didn't recognize him. No, but he recognized you. I had the hotel fax me a letter that he sent them after he was terminated. Mr. Levy, will you please read the highlighted portion? I was victimized by a man calling himself Tony the Traveler. I have learned... The man was, in fact, Ryan Lavery. I deserve my job back, and Mr. Lavery, he deserves to burn in hell for costing an honest man his livelihood. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a grudge. And the fact, it's quite a coincidence that he happened to come forward. Can I, can I see the rest of that no, letter, actually, please? Mr. I... Lavery, you can step down. Thank you. You and that drink aren't exactly on friendly terms. You drink it. Or I do, and then drink a dozen more like I did after Henry died. Hey, come on, you are not that woman. It took me so long to get here. I'm proud of myself, knowing who I am. Brian loving me was a big part of that. Hey, but you're still smart and hot. You have a solid career and friends. Don't forget about the friend part. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky there. Doesn't mean there's not going to be a lot of moping and wallowing. A lot of eating ice cream. Yeah, yeah. For a little while. Yeah, have as many scoops as you want. I just really thought... Hey, how about that ice cream? Fudge, whipped cream, nuts. It's the perfect cure for broken up. So are good friends. And I'm going to be here as long as you need me. I see Caleb's coming at me on two fronts. Chandler for the custody case. I'm fighting him, I'm fighting Marissa, I'm fighting for my company, for my son, I'm my family. It's just like, sometimes I want it to stop, but the only way to make the pain go away is the booze. No. I think about it in the morning, I want one. Before I go to bed, I want one. Well, I dream about it. Now how it feels going down my throat, I can even hear the ice cubes in the glass. Are you going to meetings? Yeah. But even with all those people, I still feel alone. You're not alone.
Marissa, what are you doing? Is Daddy here? Dad's not here, sweetie. But, our, but his car is here. Yeah, no, 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 he must have gone for a walk. Why don't you go wait in my car, okay? I want to show up my car. Honey, get, get in the car, please. What is AJ? He stands. No, I want to see my son. Not a chance in hell. Then why did you drive him all the way because up Because he missed you, and I was stupid enough to think that you deserved a chance. And it was breaking my heart, but I should have known better. I mean, do you realize what he almost walked in on? I don't want you anywhere near him. You can't get him. You're not going to keep me from my son. You're out of control, JR. You are the one standing between a devoted father and his son. Uh, the only thing that JR is devoted to is getting you in bed. Marissa. No, this is it. Don't call, don't visit, don't even ask. If you do show up, I will call the police. Marissa! Marissa, come back! Man, that brown, you completely wore up their defense. Yeah, well, I couldn't have done it without you. No, 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 I just told you what I saw. No, it was your instincts. They were just, they were dead on. You know, I think you could actually give your father a run for his money with this whole P.I. thing. Hey, I need to talk to you. Um, yeah, okay, why don't you run this back to my office and you're off the clock. Mm -hmm. Great job. How did you find this out about Pearson? Oh, come on, it wasn't hard. He went to confusion to go celebrate his victory, drank too much, and talked too much. Does it make any sense to you at all that a guy would, would, would commit perjury and, and risk jail time over a lost job? You have gone out of your way to look guilty over murder for a lost love. Yeah, it makes total sense. People really do crazy things in court. Jack. What just happened? I wish the hell I knew, Ryan. How, how, how bad is this? It's not good. We had all our reasonable doubt eggs in Pearson's basket. Now we just look desperate. Uh, Chad and I thought we had this guy vetted. I wish the hell you had. Hey. I'm really sorry. I'm not sorry at all. Get your stuff in the office, okay? We'll go home and try on your whole costume. Okay. What happened? Did you see JR? Oh, yeah, I saw him. All right, on top of Annie. Thank God I shut the door before AJ saw anything. I don't understand. I mean, Annie's gone. She moved out. <laughs> JR told me himself. Yeah, I guess he forgot to mention that she's staying at his beach cottage. I am so done with JR and his lies. The next time he sees me, it will be in court. What the hell is wrong with JR? Is he even capable of telling the truth? Well, you know, we don't know the bitch. We don't know all the details. We don't know what happened. What do you mean you don't know the details? What more do you need to know? He can't be trusted. He does not deserve his son. Where have you been? I took a walk on the beach. Did you catch up to Marissa? No. But as Marissa took off, I saw AJ in the back window. Looking at me. Confused and sad. I couldn't stop Marissa. I can't take back what she saw. I'm so tired of being judged as a father. I'm sorry. No, no, you know what? I'm gonna get AJ back. And she's not gonna be able to stop me. Are you sure you don't want the sun in? Mm, I'm not hungry. All right, well, let's go for a walk. Get some fresh air. Big moon out. Look, I know you feel bad, but you did the right thing. You were strong. You broke it off. How do I stop loving him? Now, now we're, we're right back to the beginning, Jack. As long as it means you're not next on trial for David's murder, I'm thrilled. 
Do you even think this Pearson guy was telling the truth? What, you think he was lying? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Like a middle management guy, right, commits perjury over a lost job? Really? It, the whole setup was too elaborate. And what else could it be? I, I don't know, but there's something off about this guy. There, there definitely just doesn't fit to get... Liza thinks she's got the whole story. I'm telling you right now, she doesn't. So was he lying when he identified you, or was he lying when he said he lied? I don't know. I'm going to figure that out. That's what I'm going to find out. Ryan, this is really a long shot. You realize that? That's all we got. I promise you, this is not over. You think he's chasing a dead end? I think I better find another way to establish reasonable doubt. I've got one. Put me on the stand. I got myself into this. It's time I get myself out. 